Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is the educational code for this round 149 and the problem is comparison string. So let's see the what the problem says. The problem is like very simple. They'll give you a set of operators like less than, greater than. You need to pick uh, some random integers from the array and just fill this like 1, 2, 3, 4 and this can be like uh, 3, 2, anything like that such that it's satisfied. But the thing is you need to find how many minimum number of element minimum numbers you can get from the integer array and apply it here so for example we'll try to do this example that is less than less than greater than greater than is there they will already give this now if you fill this right one less than two and uh, five four two this condition is satisfied but how many unique elements are here one two three four four unique elements are here but is it the only possibility Definitely not. They gave one more example 13, 37, 42, 37, and 13. So, in this, how many unique numbers are there? 13, 37, and 42. This is already counted. So, three unique elements. Our job is they will give you all the strings. We don't have to find the numbers. We just have to say how many unique po unique numbers can we use and keep repeating those numbers here again and again so that the condition is satisfied. Now, uh, we just want to calculate the minimum cost what did we observe so it is very simple if you see it is less than less than less than greater than less than less than less than let's try to solve this this is one two three four and this can be three and this can be four five six okay four five six is there how many unique numbers are there here six unique numbers are there but is it the only possibility because i started from left and uh, simply by iterating i just got six let's say from here six five four let's say this is three that is the best possibility but can i use this six here i just want to think i'm just observing i used six here five here four here what happened now four five six is repeated here and three now from six i brought it back to four unique possibilities so let's say um for example how many minimum number of unique numbers we need okay uh keeping all of this aside if it is greater than greater than greater than at least it should have a different of one right so something like greater than greater than greater than this at least it should have a difference of one so in this case four unique numbers are needed right because at least it should be consecutive there is no equality here similarly here we need how many numbers one two three four four unique numbers are needed this we are not considering like because it's already covered if one more thing comes here one two three this also should be satisfied now if if i say from this we observed that if you are taking a greater number and it is going for a deviation down and again it is going for sum up and again going down i can repeat the same sequence here right i can put five also here i can put four also here i can not put anything less than three okay i can't put anything less than three two i can't put but three i can put four i can put but what will be my optimal choice my optimal choice is i believe that this greater number can be somewhere around like six even if something like less than comes here also no problem i can put three we are not counting about number of sixes we just want unique elements so i go for the highest possible then keep on decreasing it is there three no problem similarly for if it is greater 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 if it is less less what do I do? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's say if 0 comes 0, then something like that. So does it work here? It doesn't work. So 1, 2, 3, here I increase to 4, here I increase to 3, here I increase to 2. So again, so now it is a very big number. So I optimally can choose uh, 4, right? This is so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, it's increasing, then 3, 2, it's decreasing, then again it's increasing. So 4 can come, this is 3 can come again, 2 can come. So something like that. You just want to think like, uh, what is the maximum number? Then I am trying to reduce it. It's okay if you could do 100 also, 100, 99, Those things also, it will be good. But how do we generalize it? If you observe carefully, right? If you observe in this carefully, we need at least four numbers in this case. So what does this four at least mean? It's a total number of minimum number of elements to form that element that's all if something is less here definitely i can reuse this so let's say that if three numbers are here and four numbers are on the left then i need at least four numbers right so that's all at least four or five numbers here only three greater than signs here four greater than signs here three are there 
if I'm able to figure out what are those numbers here, I can simply reuse this, right? That's all. So uh, you just want to count what is the consecutive number of uh, signs that are having same position and you add plus one to it because there'll be one extra number. So let's see what the, how do we solve it? So if the first character is less than, we just want to know the consecutive, right? So we'll use the flag based approach. So if the first character is there, I put flag as zero. And if greater than is there, I put flag as one. So what does this mean? Whenever I see left, I assume that the flag should be always one. So in the first sense, if flag is zero, I make the flag as one and count as zero, okay? So whenever left is there, the flag is one, I just increment plus one, plus one, plus one like that. Now, whenever, so less than, less than, everything comes. Now, if greater than, greater than comes means, I expect that the flag should be zero. So if flag equal to one there, if it is like less than comes, it will be part of this, right? I make the flag as zero and I need to delete this count. So what do I do? C equal to zero. And then simply I count for this one, that is plus one, plus one, plus one, whatever be it. Then, so how are we getting this? So if we are doing like this, less than, less than, greater than, greater than, we are able to get the count. For each of the iterations, suppose count is one, count is two, then again count is one, count is two, I am keeping a max element. So absolute is not needed here. You just have to put the count element because count is always positive. Uh, then you just want to iterate at what element count will be maximum. So if you have something like, like this, count will be one, two, three, then again count will be zero, one, two, three, four, then count will be again one. So max it checks for one, max will be two, max will be three, max won't be triggered here, but max will be four. Max e will be maximum four, so four will come here, then max e plus one. Why are we having plus one? Because we are checking only one side, right? It can be two sides also we need to cover. So that's why we have max e plus one. So in this case, one, two, three, four, five. Five is needed. So if you want to refer, you can have the submitted solution. And if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments. We'll be very glad to help you. And that's all guys. See you in the next video.